materialism is what come to mind. Yes, That's yeah. Coming to mind. And I agree with you. It's something that I'm still trying to change. I, I still want things. Don't get me wrong. I still, I would still like something. But the thing that's changed for me is that I don't need it. Yeah, I that's a good way of putting it. it. I want it, but I don't actually need it. Right? I want it. It doesn't say I'm going to curb my ambitions and not want to strive. Because I think there's always a thing in, that you should, you know, there are things you want to aim for. But I, I think getting away from materialism is a really good thing, I think. It can drive sense of dissatisfaction that it can lead to, oh, no, 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 what is this all the point for? And we don't get, let's say, we don't get satisfaction, like I agree with you, from material things. We've talked about the five regrets of the dying, haven't we? And we talked about, you don't get to the end of your life and think, well, I had a Porsche or I had a great phone. I had the latest iPhone or I had the latest Google Android. You don't say that, do you? You, you tend to go back and think about, you'll think, you hear about people talking about experiences Oh, remember when we did this, or remember? In fact, we've done this on the podcast, haven't we? We've remember when we started the podcast. Hundred percent, yeah. Really. We, I mean, I might have gone in a bit about. Oh, look at my new microphone. I had a bit of a joke about. Oh, I've got a new microphone, but that is not what we talk about. We talk about our experiences together. We talk about when we met. We talk, and that's the thing that I think has really helped me get away. Much. I'm not saying I'm cured from materialism. I'd love to be cured of it. And I think we get so many messages around materialism that we can get caught in that trap, don't we, about, oh, I need the latest thing. But Stoicism is another thing that I've really enjoyed reading about because it talks about, do you actually need it? And can you, can you work with what you have and appreciate what you have? Because that's really great. If you can, if you can eat and have the Maslow hierarchy of needs, your, your, your basic needs met of of a house or somewhere to live somewhere safe warm and some food and you and you've got some sense of family and well people you connect with must not a family but you, you connect with some people then you really do have you know a great life and we're very lucky here in the uk because we've got running water and all that and i've really dialed into that but it's not to say i still wouldn't want you know someone said you know someone said to me you know here's a lovely lovely car I was like, well, that's lovely thank you you know but i'm not striving for it i think for me, it's more about a purpose. Yeah. And we talked about yeah. this before as well. Like, what's the legacy I want to leave behind? In fact, my, my daughter graduated yesterday. And, and that's, those are the moments. I'm so proud of my daughter getting a first degree in forensic psychology. I'll never forget that day. No one can buy that. You can't buy that. And if you get caught up in materialism, you might, you might start to sort of say, oh, well, you're there, but you're thinking of the other things instead of actually enjoying the moment. That's why I put my phone away, actually. I, I actually made a point of letting my beloved take photos. So I really want to drink in the moment. I, I do want to look at it through a lens. And I was really conscious about this. And I really want to do that. And I did that. And it was wonderful. And even now, I'm still sensing the inspiration of what my daughter went through. Or what a great human they're turning into to be. And the, the, the value they're going to add to the world through that. And they're still going to, they're going to do a master's. So I'm really proud of them. But that's what I'm going to remember. When I come to my deathbed, I'm not going to say oh well look i had the latest latest phone or latest car or whatever it's not, it's not to say that those things can't make your life a little bit easier or you feel a little bit better when you're doing them but it's not the things you're going to be talking about when you get to the end of your life so for me i i took this last time i want to get away from materialism and that's one thing i am really working on in fact i'm going through a little bit of purge at the moment i'm trying to get rid of stuff i've got so much stuff How's that and going this for came you? To my head actually when it's quite hard. I don't know how you find it, but I, this came to head because when, when my mum passed away, my mum had loads of stuff, loads of stuff. And so I want to get rid of my stuff so my children don't have to get rid of the stuff. So I'm going to start purging. But I find it hard because I'm a bit of a hoarder. Okay. I like to hold on <laughs> stuff. As Lee, you probably know, I've sent you little... I've sent you little stuff and I've sent you little um, images of things. You have, yes, throws, yeah. And those... Yeah. So those things I've been throwing away and burning. But I thought I'd take a photo because at least it's there of remembrance, right? It's, it's somewhere there. But it's a way of detaching from it and just letting go of and getting rid of stuff. Because I could, what am I, I going to do with that? Literally just be hanging about. And they say that holding on to things, like material stuff, takes energy as well. So it's all about release of energy and having more space to do, to do things. <laughs>